Hello once again and welcome to a daily run of The Binding of Isaac. More like a failure run. Let's see how well we do. It's an Isaac run. So, we get to do all the things where we forget that we have a reroll, etc. We get to go nice and slowly and forget that we're supposed to be getting to boss rush, which we are because we're going all the way up to the Isaac fight? Or is that the same fight? That's the same fight, obviously. But I think we're on hard mode. I'm trying to still learn how to parse the fool. What are we on here? Cellar 1. I'm still trying to learn how to parse the, the icon for what you're supposed to be doing on the run. This is a bit dangerous. Let's uh, try not to get hit if we can avoid it. But I believe, well obviously upside down cross, that's Satan. Uh, as opposed to what I would have considered to be... Uh, I'm saying it's not the Polaroid shaped one, so we're not going... Oh, that was really bad damage. So we're not going as far as the chest or the dark room, and also it's got a red outline. Yeah. Which means uh, it's hard mode, I think. Well, it certainly feels like hard mode, because I'm not doing very well. That doesn't mean it's hard mode, it's just me playing the Binding of Isaac. We've got four bombs, so we probably could get that coin if we wanted it. But then these things are going to turn to bombs anyway. Give us these pots. The last drops are the occasional spider. And I think it may cause spiders to come out of... Uh, like poops and things. It may not be the case. I honestly can't remember. Do we want this? Yes. It's some guaranteed damage when we can't shoot. Or when we don't shoot, etc. Previously we've had things like fire mine that have made me very, ter very terrified. Scared of shooting. Uh, so, having something like this that can just sort of weaken things or finish things off. It really helps. Any type of orbital helps, especially on easy the mom fight, especially over gaps like that where you can't yeah, where you can't reach because there's a fucking rock in the way. This is the weaker of the two attack flies. Well, there's three actually. This is the weakest of the three. There used to be two. But now there's a third one which is middling. Right, don't take it if you don't want it. You can re-roll it. It's not deal with the devil time, so you don't have to save your re-roll for the deal with the devil. We can keep away from the widow here, which is basically why I like this item. But we, no, we can't, because the widow managed to stomp us anyway. Which was on me. Ah! It's actually probably worse. I hate not knowing our first floor damage. No, HP. That's, uh, that's not great. <laughs> We've got a Samson's Ball and Chain. Okay, well, what do we do with this? We try not to walk into things that will hurt us. Maybe we try and break a few things on the way past. But I think we'll just skip this floor. We'll bounce, get the hell out of dodge. Let's see what's in the next floor. Obviously, we need to start going faster. We have half a Spirit Heart, so just don't lose that, I suppose. It's Curse of the Darkness. Curse of the Dark... <laughs> I believe in the curse called Darkness. Uh, but also... It's the burning basement, which means we've got this fog, which is sort of doubling. It's obviously smoke, not fog. Oh, streamer. But, you know what I'm saying. It, it means we can't see where we're going. At all. It's also going to make things like these flies very difficult to deal with. Let's try and use our orbital a bit more. I'm trying to keep Samson's chains now that we've got it between us and all the baddies. Which is kind of basically what it's for anyway, I suppose. Uh, why were you shooting in the wrong direction just now? Good question. In fact, I was attacking with attack fly rather than with my tears. Uh, no bombs. No, the other one. No keys from it. So, what do we do? We keep fighting until we find keys. Here is a rock tinted. This rock has a small tint to it. You're in a maze of twisty passages all alike. We will use a bomb. I'm not going to waste time. Ah, uh, fuck you. However, key. Ooh, nearly walked into the fire because I'm a dumbass. Not going to waste time trying to make Samson's chain uh, be the hero of this one and save me all the bombs in the world. I'm just going to just leave. Get on with things. Use bombs. Explode the things. Number one. Yeah. I think number one's always worth it. It does really drastically reduce your range, but it still seems pretty good. Uh, uh, we didn't have a reroll, and I don't really fancy backtracking all this way just to reroll it again. But the DPS upgrade that you get from number one more than makes up for the range downgrade. 
And all too often, this is probably a library. It's telepathy for dummies. Right, well, we'll definitely come back and try re-rolling the shit out of that. But we want to re-roll our deal with the devil first. There's usually more than enough... Wow, good job. Range upgrades that come from boss fights that we would otherwise be salty at that now we can really take good advantage of. I don't know how I manage that, so try not to use me as an example. There we go. I'm going to re-roll this first on account of how there are two battery chargers in it. So we'll pick this up and put it down. That makes sure it never shows up again. We'll pick this up. We'll come in here. min max in a little bit right now. Trying to get some points because it is a daily. And well, then we'll use this here. Get some cash out of it and maybe an HP upgrade would be nice. I'm not going to be too upset if we don't get an HP upgrade out of this, but... There's so much of an opportunity to do so. It's really worthwhile trying. Not going to play the other two. Don't want to spend the time or the money. Oh, you dick. You fucking recharged the wrong thing. Never mind. I'm not going to re-roll that then. That was a bit of a misplay. I'd like to have re-rolled it one more time. But we're still basically guaranteed to get a book. I think we're absolutely guaranteed to get a book again. So I'm not too worried about that. Ah, uh, I was just moving in and it started shooting me. Pretty fine. It's fine. Metamesis is okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Where's my attack fly? There it is. I can barely see my attack fly in all this smog. Man. Can someone just sort of get the fire brigade? Mom, your basement's on fire. Sort it out. These monsters are going down nice and quickly. They are the weaker type, but then there's two of them, so. I guess it balances in that respect. That's also a nice upgrade. And Moonstar and the other one. I'll take the Horror Babylon. Yes. That's exactly what we want to see. Sweet. Now we can fly. And we have Horror Babylon. So we're extremely fast. I'm probably doing quite a lot of damage. I think number one may be a small damage downgrade as well as a range downgrade. But hey, we can see where we're going, which is a miracle. We should do this on account of how it's a daily. And I'm so used to... Uh, Playing the daily strats when I'm not playing a daily game. That like, earlier on today I accidentally used a teleport card because I'd forgotten that normally in real fuck that shit. In real life you run away from boss rush rather than trying to do it. You're trying to steal something out of it. But I was in daily mode and now I've had one game not in daily mode and I've forgotten how to do daily mode. I uh, and then I didn't do that room because it was just a boring old iron chest. Or, you know, unobtainium or whatever it's made of. Our damage is still not really hugely amazing. That's a nice spider, though. Uh, we'll probably come back for that. It gives us a, an extra upgrade. Uh, a reroll. I think it's very likely that we get, you know, three more charges on our item. I suspect there may be a secret room out here somewhere. Nope. We're going to waste all our charges on it. I think we can get this item charged up before the item room shows up. And then if the item room still sucks, we can come back and get another reroll on it. So we'll avoid using the battery until it gives us a full charge. I'd like to find the item room at the perfect time, of course, but that ain't going to happen. We sped up a bit, and there's a second battery charge. This happens quite a lot on dailies, and I, I always question it. But we seem to be getting a lot more battery charges than I'd normally expect from an Isaac run. Which I'm happy with. Don't, don't let me sound like I'm complaining. It's just odd. Right, what have we got? Shoot the whoop. No. Ten bombs. No. Do better. Shoot the whoop is a good item. I would like to take it, but it, not good enough. Anemic. Not good enough. Especially when we've got the D6. We don't want to get rid of the D6, and the shoot the whoop is a spacebar item, so it would replace the D6. Uh, and it used to be shit, as I've probably mentioned many, many times. God, come on now. But... Uh, it is now good enough to take, but not good enough to replace the D6 with, I'm afraid. That was good. I'm glad that you exploded next to your... What I would have expected was your friend, or at least your ally, but as turned out, you're just mercenaries, all after the same prize. Should I blow this thing up? Yeah, probably. We do want deals with the devil. Although, now that we are out of red hearts, they're going to be very expensive to take. 
so we have to consider that the only things we can really have are things that will give us HP back and make us strong enough to, you know, to survive the HP downgrade that we'll inevitably get. There's only a couple of things that you can get from Deal with the Devil that give you three spirit hearts back, and they will all cost three spirit hearts to take. So just think on that whilst you're watching this on the bog. Ooh, careful. We don't want to pop any of these mushrooms if we can avoid it, because they could output a cloud of gas. We're in just the right time to fight the boss, which I'm going to try and fight ASAP, because, careful there, that one will explode. Uh, we have died horribly to peep before. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure what happened there was not what you think happened. And I didn't take the damage, but, you know, I'd like a recount. Samson's chain is saving us quite a lot right now, so I'm very glad that we uh, went to the item room, the, the secret room on the first floor, and happened to find this. We didn't get hit by the eyes, but we got hit by the shots. I think if you don't get hit by... Why did I take it? Because you're an idiot. Yeah, correct. Infested? We've got two infested pills. Infested? We've got a... Are you a wizard pill? It doesn't really make me upset right now, but the bad trip pill is a big deal. Because I don't know how much HP we've got, and now we've got one less. We didn't get a deal with the devil, so it's not like I had to worry about that. Even though we blowed that blowed, <laughs> even though we blew that Joker up to try and improve our chances. Yes. See, that's how you play the game. There's a shop. We should go to the shop. We can't go to the shop. We know where the secret rooms are, and we've got plenty of bombs to do it, so we will. I do like the mine. The mine is a very good item. It will get you through. Oh, you know all except for what the fucking pills that you're about to take do. Turtles is okay. Got us a bit further away from the way we want to be going, but that's okay. There's nothing in that room because the mine tells us the entire map, including both secret rooms. Yeah, I like the mine. That's, that's shit. I'm <laughs> a waste of a bomb. And I'm glad that we didn't re-roll Mom's purse. Even though I should have. Like, the correct play would have been to have re-rolled Mom's purse, but because I am me, I forgot that I could re-roll Mom's purse, and so I didn't know shit. We've got one HP, so... We should definitely try not to get hit if we can actually avoid it. I think number one has slightly been a bit more of a problem than I had originally given it credit for. Um, the range downgrade has hurt more than I had anticipated it would have. So, we can take all of these and put them all down again. Book of Secrets probably doesn't help us. This could give us a spirit heart. It didn't, but it's going to recharge our D6. So we've taken all of these. We should min-max it properly, right? Let's go to the item room. That's definitely the right play. And I do like being able to fly around the back of these bastards because I hate dodging in between them. Yeah, we're doing okay. But we need to get our HP game, our HP back in the game, I suppose I should be saying. That's valuable. And if we can uh, not get shot by these, that would also be valuable. But again, here's where our range makes us suffer a little bit because they can shoot way further than we can. Dark Bum right now would be such a valuable pickup because we'd be able to get all these red hearts and turn them into spirit hearts. Excuse me, how many times are you going to turn into that uh, that goo there? So it was an eyeless ooze that turned into ooze when it died, but because it's an eyeless ooze, it turned into ooze before it died. So then the ooze turned into ooze and I had to de-ooze it twice. What an interesting situation. What a time to be alive. What a crazy, crazy RNG job this has turned out to be. Doing alright damage. I'm happy with this damage. And we have got a reroll in time for this room. Ooh, I think that's pretty good. I do like a slow effect. Um, especially when it when we've got this little, <laughs> little uh, HP. It can really save us in many situations. I think I'm going to look... For, I was going to say look for an, uh, a teleport card, but now I think about it. I don't necessarily want to. This is what I was hoping to see. The Book of Revelations and the Satanic Bible. I wasn't going to suggest that we could see them both at the same time, but that's really worked out for us. Because it's given us two spirit hearts from one reroll, which is excellent. So now I think we're comfortable to go in here. And I will do it. It's a boss trap room, which is why I was feeling a bit leery about actually going so far as to try it. Did that get him? That got me. I wasn't supposed to have got me. I'm not I'm not in for it when you're gonna got me. I hate this quick jump thing he does. Excuse me. Please be slowed. 
The slow doesn't affect his quick jump, which is annoying. It's not a slow jump anymore. Uh, the Mega Mall? Yeah. Paid for the Ender Crystal. Just recycling other YouTubers' jokes, don't worry about me. To find the Ender Crystals, we find Dr. Wiley. Please. Good. There's only two at this, uh, uh, this stage of the game, so. We don't have to worry too much about that. Oh, just do the curse room as well. Stop go oh fuck. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I thought I was in a different room, I went too far. I misread the map. And all other excuses that mean I should not be in this room. I claim extenuating circumstances. Come on. We're quick. There is that. But we're only on the caves too. Uh yeah. So we need to be quicker. We've got a bus for us to deal with. But we do know the direct way to all the bosses, so that's a bonus. I'm not gonna min max that room anymore. We got rid of a lot of books from our rotation, including ones that we would get from the deal with the devil. So, hopefully that will improve our deal with the devil payouts in future. Maybe something that we can take, despite having only three spirit hearts. It's a shame the curse room didn't really pay out with anything. I mean, it gave us two spiders, I think. It wasn't pick upable. I know that much. Oh, that's valuable. And so's that, but I'm not going there. Could go to the shop, but I kind of want to just get a press on right now. Ooh. For some reason I didn't expect that. I'm still not used to these new levels. Even though it's been a while. I've done several dailies, but... I'm kind of still in rebirth mode. I'm not even going to place the bombs to try and get cash out of those motherfuckers. You know, this is a... Uh, we're in full on, get the hell out of here. You know, finish the run in time for boss rush. We've also got to do hush. You can see the rate of fire that uh, number one gives us is almost making up for the uh, range penalty, but the range penalty is starting to hurt, because we have to get so close to these things that can, you know, damage us like that. We haven't quite got the speed, if you factor in reaction time, to get away from a lot of these attacks. And stop making these fucking things. We've talked about this. Do we re-roll the cube of meat? We got this fight because we picked up the Book of Revelations on this uh, floor. I'm not sure whether using it has any effect, but we did use it, so... Yeah, so if we roll this first. Uh, we absolutely take this. We can't take this, but we could... Yeah, not worth it. And I will take this. So another orbital. Orbitals are valuable. I think I've wasted a lot of time again, which is always my fault. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean I'm to blame, although I am. What I mean is it is the fault that I have. That I take too long on these min maxi type floors. And I don't spend the time clearing out the floors and getting to the boss. Which is you know, the point of the game. So let's try and speed up a little bit here. We do want to do the item room, even if we maybe shouldn't. These things are gonna take a while to beat though, I think. Again, this is the weaker of the two well, three attack flies, so it's not doing as much damage as it could be, so it's not going to help us rip through the... Th Hello? Where the fuck are you? Dude, when the fucking enemies spend ages not on the screen, it does my head in. There's an amazing orbital that's going to do us proud. So it's going to go straight to the boss fight. It's really close on this floor, actually, which is gratifying. So you die, you die, and you die. That's what we're looking for. That was a quick room as well. Y'all die. Thank you. Sack Dagger is supremely fast. That was worth going to, I think. It's worth skipping this floor, especially since it's been so good to us in terms of, uh, whoa, you've got some tractor beam shit going on, which I'm not happy with. Especially since it's been so good to us in terms of these uh, really quick rooms that we don't have to deal with. Might we roll that? Might re-roll this. Help. We're okay. I walked into him. Don't worry about it. Yes, I'll take this. I mean, this is another slowing item, so I'd rather have a decent deal with the devil item from re-rolling Krampus' head. And why did we re-roll Krampus' head, everybody? Because it's a spacebar item and we don't want to deal with that shit. Good. Yeah, because that previous floor was giving us so many rooms that we didn't have to fight and therefore allowed us to get through it quickly, with a huge amount of expedience. That was very close. Did you see that shit? Um, 
I'm happy to skip it, basically. Oh, we might just... Kind of don't want it, but it could be good on boss rush, I guess. Wow! Look at that shit. Do you see that? Fucking preempted me. What the hell? Box of friends for boss rush. Could be amazing. I think we take box of... Do we have enough friends? I don't think we have enough friends. That was a bit of a misplay. Well, let's do this then. Okay. It occurred to me that we didn't quite have enough actual friends to make it worthwhile. But I'd already done it. Again, think before you... Uh, what am I saying? No, that's bad. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. Kids, don't learn from... Uh... Oh, that was good. Thank you. Another one? No, that's uh, a was ring. Ooh. Oh, I used a plethorian. It's okay. We don't have time for this. No, we don't have time for that. I don't want the petrified poop. There's no more poop. Uh, Empress. Answers. Don't care. Excuse me. Pick it up. Yara. Blank Awas. rune. Awas again. We want the Empress card. We want the Perthro rune. We want the Yara rune. Yes. Oh, we're not necessarily going far enough to make the Yara rune worthwhile. But there is always going to be an opportunity for the Yara rune to do something cool. Whereas there is not very much opportunity for the Empress to do something cool, especially if you consider the fact that we already have the Horror of Babylon anyway. I'm pretty sure they don't stack. Ah, we can take this, which is nice. And we're not going to fight Krampus. Oh, we've already been here. Excuse me? We haven't already been here. That's okay. Can you uh, drop down, please, so that I can get out of here? Thank you. The High Priestess. Yeah, I don't think the Empress card stacks with Horror of Babylon. Ah, this is a standstill and win the game card, but... Infamy could be good enough, but I'm going to run the gamble on the reroll, which is why I have it. Uh, Libra's fucked us before, so I'm not dealing with that shit. I guess we take sticky bombs. This isn't sticky bombs. What does this do? This entire room is fucking slow, because we rerolled Box of Friends, which I took without thinking, into the broken stopwatch, which randomly makes some rooms slow. That's outrageously good luck. And it's not the sort of bullshit slow where you can't deal with it. It's proper fucking slow. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's not hourglass slow where you press it and then all of a sudden... Ooh, we've got another reroll there. Maybe I should have taken a pick-up put-down item? I don't think there was a uh, spacebar item in the offering, which is unfortunate. Yeah, fucking try it. See how it works out for you. Hello, what's all this? <laughs> yeah, nice one. GG. Goody. You ain't no fang. And dead. Yeah, we didn't really have an opportunity to pick up an item and put it back down again, which would have probably been the correct thing to do. But uh, I don't honestly remember what my options were. Oh, well, now everyone's slow. Good job, Death. It fucked up for everybody. Well, Monstro 2 is also fucked up for you, so... If you're ever wondering, Monstro 2 is stronger than Death himself. So... Just watch out. Monstro 2 will fuck up your day. Yo! Stay the fuck on the ground and get beaten up by that. Thank you. We can still re-roll whatever we get as a result, as a reward for uh, beating the old um, boss rush here, but... I'm kind of just a little bit outstanding that I have successfully got to boss rush, even though I had four minutes to get through two floors. And it would be nice at this stage to be able to get out of boss rush again. You know, and um, okay, this is going to be quick, irrespective of any uh, any items that we have that would otherwise cause it not to be. But that's okay. We're done. It would be nice to be able to get out of boss rush, back into the floor and explore the rest of it. Oh yeah, you just uh, make everyone go to betrayal mode, see, see if I give a shit about that. Hello? And we're not doing much damage still, but we're doing not much damage fast, so it sort of makes up for it. It's not the greatest thing in the world. You shot you, which I, I don't want to say like I did it on purpose, but as soon as I realised I could, I was sort of halfway doing it anyway by accident, baiting that little um, 
What's that thing called? Little fetus. Oh, you got me. Well, good job. Blighted ovum, that's the one. The mini blighted ovum shot whatever it was across the screen that I didn't even get the opportunity to have a go at. Let's try and use the um let's fly here. Yeah, that's working. And I realised halfway down that if I if I played my cards right that would work. And it did work. I was very happy with that. I'm still looking for a self-sacrifice room, and I'm pretty sure I checked these floors quite thoroughly. You know, before... I say quite thoroughly. I glanced at the map. How how thoroughly can that be, I guess? Um, before committing to just charging through and doing the bosses, but... We can do one more floor if we can find the self-sacrifice room, and it's probably worth... Ow. Oh, shit. Don't fucking die. <laughs> I've got hit a couple more times than I'd like right now. And we don't have anything to sort of replace our fuck ups here. We can't, we can't fix ourselves. Are you gonna jump out? Because I'm not here for that. Where are you, you dick? There you are. Kinda wanna avoid the hollow. Completely screwing us over here. By sort of appearing whilst we're trying to fight that one. Right, that's gone. And you're stuck in the corner, which is okay with me. Because we could hang out over these, um... There's another one? Over these spikes, and anything that's ground-based will either not be able to get us, or we'll walk on the spikes. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Right, you you lot stay there. You be baited over here. Alright, you're not going to go anywhere with that effort of speed that you trying to put out there, but unfortunately you're slowed, which means you're completely incapable of doing your main attacks. And as long as you die before anything horrible happens, yeah, we're alright. So I kind of want to sort of be in a position where I can see everything that's going on, but that doesn't seem too likely. These things are fine, because when they're slow, they're really slow. But there are certain enemies, which we've already seen some of them, where the slow effect just hasn't... well, it has no effect. The, uh, the brimstone lasery ones, like the... Frail. This son of a bitch, for example, is no joke. Because he can still do that brimstone laser, which is instant shot all across the screen. And he can teleport anywhere. I don't think he's constrained by speed on the range of that thing. But these things are powerless because their charge has no effect. Where are you? There you are. So we just need to watch out for this thing's brimstone laser, which I believe can one-shot us if we're not careful. We've only got one HP. Hasten to add. Okay, this should be a pretty easy wave, so I'm happy to just spend the time here. It's taken us such a long time because our damage is poor. I mean, the fact that we've got this slowing effect on the whole boss rush is actually probably the only thing that's keeping us alive right now. Um, which means... Well, A, we can't take a single hit. Uh, that's really bad. <laughs> we can't take a single hit as we go down. Yeah, there's no self-sacrifice room here. There's no tinted rocks here. We can't get out. We don't want that. This does nothing for us. This is very dangerous. We're not even in glass cannon territory because we're not actually that strong. I mean, as I was saying, that boss rush only was as good as it was. Because the whole room was slow. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Not a fan of this at all. Alright. I mean, these things being slowed by Little Gish makes me really happy that I did pick up Little Gish. Um, but, you know, we're not... We're not winning this anytime soon without some major good luck. That was very lucky as well, because I accidentally popped that and I didn't mean to. This is slow as well. We could... What do we want to yarra? We have to yarra something at some point, right? But, but what? I mean, this is just a mini boss rush, so kind of okay with it, but it does seem to be a champion version. All damage from now on will just kill us, so we're basically playing old fashioned Lost. Monstros? Uh, Loki first. There's always a Loki down here. Loki is uh, basically the resident of the womb. I'm not quite sure how that works, but just go with it, I suppose. All of this is essentially the ravings of a madman anyway, so. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I'm not a fan of that thing. Let's get rid of that. We've managed to keep Horror Babylon all this time, which is 
pretty outstanding, but at the same time, it just means that we've never had any HP. <laughs> Great, if we, if we get hit and die, at least we get a shitload of money that we can't pick up. Uh, Spirit Hut? Spirit Hut? Money. I mean, it's all stuff. We could easily die, and I would hold on to your hats for that. I'm going to do my best not to, obviously. Well, it may not be obvious. <laughs> From the way I normally play. Oh, shit. I'm just going to have to have a moment. <laughs> Holy crap, we found the only safe spots in that entire room. And made it work. How come I can't play like that when it doesn't really matter? Huh? Okay. We're, we're fine. Don't worry. Just just keep it real. Occasionally we will get um, fast rooms because it is the broken stopwatch and not just the stopwatch. So you're going to keep turning into fucking turrets every single time you turn into a gooping back out again. Because that's a B and S, mate. Full health. Well, <laughs> we could yarrow that. This could be good for us, though. Fucking Spirit Heart now. Spirit Heart. Spirit Heart. I'm happy to go all the way in on this. I know it's costing us all our delicious cash, which is our points at the end of the game. But we have one hit in us. <gasps> Two hits in us. The dream is real. Let's see if we can take it further. I think that's probably more money than we would get for losing this spirit heart, so let's not do that. It's going to be an horrible room, yeah. Thank you, whatever killed that, for killing that. Right, now we kill the bloke. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Well, you got rid of the only thing that I was relying on, i.e. the cover. But you are slow. Not sure why. Effect of the room, maybe? Or... Yeah, something's keeping you slow. Which I'm happy with. Just stop doing these explosions. <laughs> Please. Fuck. Oh, we're okay. Help. What the hell do you do there? Seriously. Son of a bitch just owned us, right? Get in whilst you're invincible. <gasps> we did it. <clears throat> we did it, gang. And we got a spirit heart and some damage. And we're not fighting Krampus because we've already done that. And we get something we can't take. I should have yared something. Probably should have yared a spirit heart. Never mind. Down to the next floor. There's no point re-rolling that, I think. Oh, maybe there was? I don't know. Oh, question mark. How many fucking HP do we have? Who knows, right? Who fucking knows? Oh, thanks for that. Just popping, because... Uh... We could get Brimstone. We couldn't get Brimstone. I'll take them again. The mulligan is just a uh, poor man's guppy. So that's going to produce a lot more flies and make everything slightly more survivable for us. It's not uh, a defensive item by any means. Oh, we can't do hush, thank fuck for that. We could not do hush on this floor by any stretch. Don't even pretend that we could have done hush in, in with this run. We would have just died on it. And I'm happy to take a win that doesn't do hush over a loss that does. We can get to the curse room, actually, which is kind of nice. Can you just... We all know how this is going to go. It's just taking time. So we should definitely do that. No no greed. Okay. I want to... I might as well spend a bomb for a guaranteed five cents. Don't take any wooden nickels When you sound... That was a wash. Your soul. I might as well skip a couple of rooms. Unfortunately, this skips into a L-shaped room. Did we get the goat head? I think we did, didn't we? Did we? Maybe we didn't. Just uh, making plans for the deal with the devil, but if we're not getting one, then maybe I should. We should look for tinter drops as well. What am I even doing flying through these rooms, capable of breaking all the things, without at least trying to find some tinter drops? That's just foolish, especially with the amount of HP we've got right now. We're okay. Good. We survived. Se second secret room is right over there, so I don't really care about finding that. This room's slow, which is a huge advantage to us, as you can no doubt tell. Oh. Fuck! Dead. Not dead. Use this. Use this invincibility. Get in there. Fucking deal damage. Sort it all out. Oh god, what happens now? Oh my god, we did it. 
We did get a deal with the devil. Not Krampus. It's a reroll. It's not takeable. Shit! <laughs> We've got so little HP, which is such a shame. No self-sacrifice room either, and I'm not doing that boss trap room. I'm just gonna... This is the last floor. If we can survive this, we're golden. We just need to win. That's all I'm in this for now. We have survived against all the odds. No spirit hearts to speak of in the entire fucking game. The game hates us. It wants us all to... Oh, you shitbag. Look at all these things we could have. But we haven't got any spirit hearts. At least there was a spirit heart in there, which is actually more than the game's given us to date. So, I guess we try... I mean... Where are the spirit hearts in these floors? It's only going to be in Tinted Rocks. Oh, this bullshit, though. Uh, it's a good thing we got that previous uh, spirit heart, really. Just try and do as much damage as you can whilst you've got the invincibility. I'm trying to run around so much. Ah! Fucking always spawns next to me! So pissed off with that shit. Well, I died. Thank you for watching. That fucking room every single time. Anyone who's been watching me knows how that shit goes down. It could have been better. Could have been worse. Oh well. That wasn't supposed to uh, throw any shade on Jekry there. I'm just saying. I did really badly. Every single time we picked up a spirit heart, I suddenly went into fuck this mode and started wasting it. And I got fucked by exactly the same room that I always get fucked by. But thank you for watching. We nearly succeeded this time and we actually came at a higher rank than we did last time when we did succeed. So... Uh, maybe tomorrow or whenever I next do the next one, we will actually win the goddamn game. Until then, thank you and good day.